guys, I have a really special video for you today. I am sharing two easy hairstyles that are perfect for Valentine's Day. I thought it'd be fun to collaborate with some friends for this video. So my friend Al is sharing two Valentine's date night outfits over on her channel. And Angela is sharing a beautiful day to night Valentine's Day makeup tutorial on her channel. So make sure you go check out their YouTube channels. I'll put the links down below and be sure to leave a comment that I sent you and subscribe. You guys are going to love their content. So let's go ahead and get started. So quickly, I wanted to show you how I prep my hair since I want a romantic vibe. So I'm going to be using this one and a half inch curling iron from T3. This is my go-to size to create soft waves. So I set this to the third highest heat setting and then I'm just going to roughly grab one inch sized sections, not being precise at all. So I'm always holding my wand in my dominant hand, pointing it down, and I'm just laying the section on the barrel so that it's flat, and I'm always wrapping away from my face. This baby gets hot, so I'm only gonna hold it for three seconds, and then I'm just going to let this curl cool. So don't worry about being too precise with your sections, but one thing is if you do want your curls to appear more romantic, just try your best to curl all the way to the ends of your hair. And you want to ensure that your section is laying flat against the barrel. This is going to give you that nice soft curl. And if your hair has a hard time holding a curl, when you're finished curling it, just gently squeeze it into your hand as it cools and it'll help the curl set in shape. Look at that, easy peasy, not even kidding, took me under five minutes to do. So next up, I'm just going to apply some of this Herbal Essences Soft Control Cream Gel. Just going to use about a dime-sized amount. I love this to tame flyaways. It just smooths down your hair and gives it a more polished finish without any crunch or stickiness. So I'm just going to flip my hair back and let's get started. First step, you want to gather all of the hair that's above your temples. This doesn't need to be perfect. And then once it's sectioned off, just clip it out of the way for now. Next, you want to gather about a one inch section of hair just below that first one, but you only want to gather the hair that's at the back of your head. So it should look like this. Then secure it tightly with a hair elastic and this is going to act as the foundation for our half up hairstyle. Now unclip that top section and let's create some volume. So begin teasing the hair at the crown of your head and only tease in a downwards motion to help prevent knots and breakage. Some of you mentioned that your hair has a difficult time holding a tease, so go ahead and spray in some hairspray, it'll help lock it into place. So continue teasing until you're happy with it, and I always suggest teasing more than you think you need to. Now flip this section back, and we just want to section off our sides. So trace down from your part to the front of your ear, and then just place the section out of the way. And then make sure you repeat the same steps on the other side of your head. Now with a comb, you just want to smooth back that top section, and you just want to gather it where that first elastic is. Now, with that top section, give it a slight twist counterclockwise just to help group the section together and it'll help add a little bit more volume. Now, bobby pin it into place. I like to come in horizontally from the right side, hook some of the hair, and then flip my bobby pin and pin it underneath. And feel free to add as many bobby pins as you need. I used two. Next step, grab your right section and just gently drape it over your ear. Take your time positioning this. I just held it tightly and then gently pulled on the lower part of my section to help create that swoop. Then pull it across the back of your head and you just want to bobby pin it in place to the opposite side of your ponytail. So repeat the same steps on the left side, remembering to gently drape your hair over your ear. It just helps give this hairstyle a more romantic and elegant appearance. And then bobby pin it to the right side of your ponytail and use that right side section to help cover your bobby pins. And now you have yourself a romantic half up hairstyle. And here it is from the front. It's so cute, right? So for the next hairstyle, you want to use a hair bungee. If you don't have one, I'll quickly show you how to make one. So just take a small hair elastic, and then you just want to hook on a bobby pin to the top, and then hook on a bobby pin to the bottom like this. All right, so I'm going to turn around. We're going to be using hairstyle one as our base, so loosely gather all the remaining hair where you want your bun to sit. 
Now take that hair bungee and you want to vertically insert one of your bobby pins right at the top of your ponytail. And then tightly wrap the second bobby pin around your ponytail. You want a lot of tension. I went around about one and a half times. And then once it's nice and tight, slide that second bobby pin in towards the center of your ponytail. You don't have to use a hair bungee, but it does help to keep that volume in the hairstyle. Next, take your ponytail, rough it up a little bit, and then just loosely twist it counterclockwise. And then begin wrapping it around your ponytail. And you want to wrap it in the same direction that you twisted your ponytail, so continue going counterclockwise until you reach the end. And then pull on your bun to loosen it up a bit, help it appear a little more effortless and voluminous. And then you just want to bobby pin around the outside of it until it's nice and secure. And now you have a big voluminous bun. You guys, I love this look. I'd love if you commented down below, let me know which one was your favorite. Are you more of like an updo girl or do you prefer to wear your hair down? Also, I'd love to know what you thought of this two-in-one hair tutorial. And if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Elle and Angela's channels. I'll link it down below. Go subscribe and leave them a comment letting them know that I sent you. But I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.